Hello, I'm Yusai Khan. Today we'll visit two of my dear friends. They are amongst the most successful movie producers in the world. Our first stop is Hollywood. They are superstars, Hollywood legends. Everyone knows their names. Al Pacino, Keanu Reeves, Charlize Theron, Michael Douglas, Morgan Freeman, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Gwyneth Paltrow, Brad Pitt, Arnold Copelson. Yeah, Arnold Copelson? That's right. While those famous names star in movies, it is Copelson that makes the movies. You may not know his name, but you have certainly seen his work. Can I go with you? No. We move faster alone. Hey, I'm on your side. You and Lord. I don't know death. No. I didn't kill my wife. I don't care. Copelson's movies may be American-made, but they are seen all over the world. The Fugitive, a worldwide hit, has special meaning for China and for Copelson. It was officially released in six major Chinese cities in November 1994, marking the opening of the film market of the world's most populous country. For the first time, Chinese people could enjoy the latest Hollywood blockbusters as they were released. This is interesting because we took uh, Harrison's face and we put it on another body. Uh, and Teach me about producing. What, um, what does a producer do? Uh, I lectured at the Harvard Business School, and it took me two hours to, to tell them what a producer does. <laughs> just but just me. briefly, a producer acquires the property, whether it's a script, a book. He hires the writer. The writer refines it. He then hires the director. He then puts together the money, hires the cast, gets the whole crew, you know, there are many people, maybe 200 people on a do movie. Do you do the casting too? Yes, I certainly do. Wow. With the director, I work in tandem with the director. And then you go to the, to the set, I, I'm on the daily set every moment that this movie is being made yes. for maybe two or three months. We stay there because every day there's another crisis. You never know when something is gonna go wrong. A native of New York City, Arnold Copelson studied law, not film producing. It was after he moved to Hollywood that he first thought about making movies. Well, I was a lawyer. I practiced uh, banking and entertainment law. And I had clients that were in the business. And I finally said to myself, I can do I can this. Do I'm going to do this. Why settle for a legal fee that they're not paying mm -hmm. when I can actually be the client and work for myself? In the aggressive world of filmmaking, Copelson has a partner he can trust completely, his wife, Anne. As co-producer, she works side by side with Arnold throughout the production. Here is my partner, my life, and my love. <laughs> Anne is in charge of conducting the business and managing finances. Arnold consults with her on every level of the production. What are the qualities for a great producer? Uh, persistence and determination and passion. Passion is everything in this business. You've got to be persistent and determined to win. I like to win. I do not like to lose. <laughs> Copelson has succeeded in Hollywood because he is not afraid to take chances. One of the best examples of this aggressive boldness came in the early 80s. He was approached by a Vietnam veteran who had written a screenplay about his experience in the war. America was still healing from its losses in Vietnam, and no studio would touch this brutal and bloody script. It was called Platoon. Is that what I think it is? Bye, 2G6. Welcome to the Nile. Follow me. The writer, Oliver Stone, told the story of his tour in country, fighting under miserable conditions, never being sure who the enemy was. And I took the script home. And I got into bed at night, and my wife, Anne, who also is my partner, was reading a magazine, and my heart was pounding. And I, when I finished, I had tears in my eyes. Anne asked me, what's wrong? You, 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 you're crying. And I said, I've just read the greatest script I have ever read. It was an emotional experience. And I said, I'm going to go off and make this movie. 
Copelson risked his career and bought the script that nobody else wanted. He even hired Oliver Stone to direct his own screenplay. The cast and crew lived in the jungles of the Philippines during the entire production. A marine drill instructor put the actors through boot camp until they developed the thousand-yard stare of the authentic combat soldier. What was it like filming in the Philippines? It was an extraordinary experience being in the Philippines because it was so hot. Uh, the temperature was over 100 degrees and we would get up very early in the morning and it would be 85 degrees Fahrenheit already and we were perspiring and, we, and there were snakes and uh, insects. insects, very large spiders the size of my hand, orange, I had never seen anything like this. Wow. But the important thing was watching Oliver Stone direct his passion. I had never seen anything like this. With its exotic location, military hardware, and special effects, it would be easy to mistake Platoon for a big budget movie. Actually, this epic film was completed for only $5 million. By today's standards, where movies cost maybe $100 million, the average movie cost about $62 million today. That movie cost under $5 million wow. when we started to make it. The actors got nothing. They, they were not well-known actors. Oliver worked for nothing. Uh, it was just getting it done. It was Oliver's passion. It was his dream to get this film done. Dino De Laurentiis had it for many years, was supposed to do it, and then that fell through. So I was the recipient of this fabulous piece of material, and it became my dream, my passion, to get it done. Copelson's instincts paid off big time. From the day it opened in theaters, it was clear that Platoon was a hit. It earned back Copelson's $5 million investment and much more, over $300 million worldwide. I had no idea it was going to be the success. Did you ever think you were going to be nominated for the Oscar? No, I had no concept that I would be nominated uh, a Best Picture, How many? except I did have a fantasy while I was reading the script <laughs> of getting an Academy Award. Uh -huh, right. So I guess maybe there's someone looking over me. Mm. The Oscar night. I'm always curious. Uh, you know, it must have been sensational. I was sitting in the first row, and Dustin Hoffman was the presenter. He said, and the winner is... Uh, Platoon, Arnold Copelson, producer of Platoon, will accept the Academy Award. Well, oh, I, I got up, uh, Anne kissed me, uh, I, re I bent over and hugged Oliver and hugged his then wife, and I went up. Dustin gave me the statuette. Other than the, the birth of my children, it's the greatest day of my life.